All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Lakers Daily. My name is Jackson. I post daily Lakers content, so hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you enjoy it. So earlier today, Bohan Bogdanovich got traded to the Detroit Pistons, which was honestly pretty surprising. They got no first-round draft pick, which they supposedly wanted a first round draft pick in return i don't really know what the utah jazz were thinking with that one but anyways we also saw reports earlier today that the lakers and the pacers have still been talking about a russell westbrook for buddy healed and miles turner swap but the caveat is the lakers are only including one first round draft pick instead of two first round draft picks and i have to say guys i honestly get it you know bogdanovich just got traded And I know there's guys like Mike Connolly, Jordan Clarkson, Buddy Heald, Miles Turner, where there's these good, talented players that have value, and they're on bad basketball teams. And so I think 100%, all four of those names that I just mentioned will be traded at some point in the season, but the Lakers don't necessarily have to give up all their eggs to get them, all right? From the Lakers' standpoint, this is why they refuse to give two first-round picks. The 2027 pick, let's do the 2027 first round pick from the Lakers. Well, LeBron James at that point in time will be 42, 43 years old. He probably will not be on the Los Angeles Lakers if he is still in this league. Anthony Davis, there's less than, I'm being generous here, there's less than a 50% chance that he will be on this Lakers team come 2027. So teams view the Lakers first round pick as the most coveted draft pick, future draft pick, I should say, that's available on the market because you're banking on it that LeBron's gone, Anthony Davis is gone, and that the Lakers suck. And who knows? That might be the case. So Russell Westbrook is not that bad, all right? I don't necessarily think that the Lakers should give up two first-round picks for both of those cats. I Honestly, to be to be blunt, I'm indifferent on this. If they give up one first-round pick to make this trade happen, word. If they give up two first-round picks to make this trade happen, word. If they don't do anything and roll with Russell Westbrook for this season, word. Russell Westbrook is a former MVP. He averaged 20 points, 7 rebounds, 7 assists for the Lakers last season. He missed a whole four basketball games. Four basketball games. Keep in mind, man, with Anthony Davis, with LeBron James... You want guys that you can trust on that are going to be playing each and every night. Not Kent Bazemore. No disrespect, Kent Bazemore. Not Wayne Ellington. Not DeAndre Jordan. None of the old vets they had on their team last year. This Lakers team has gotten significantly better, especially considering how little and limited options they had at the end of last season. So, yeah, I'm good with anything the Lakers decide to do because Russell Westbrook is one hell of a basketball player. There's going to be somebody to make it work. It's going to be LeBron James. Dennis Schroeder was a phenomenal pickup. Patrick Beverly was a phenomenal trade. And take it this. There will always be teams that are desperate to get rid of old, or I shouldn't even say old, veteran contracts. By the trade deadline, there will be plenty of players that will be up for grabs that the Lakers could go out there and scoop. So if I were to put money on it, If the Pacers are not accepting a trade with two first-round picks, I'm just saying Russell probably be on this team at the start of the season. I have zero issues with that. Zero issues with that. Wait and see. If it's not working, it's not working. Make the trade. Make a trade. All right? I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say, especially with this Bogdanovich trade happening earlier today. Hit that like button. Hit that sub button. Peace.